Hi everyone. Welcome back. I hope you are doing well today. I want to make a kooky card. Okay. So we're going to stamp out some images. Um, and cut some paper. We might do a little bit of coloring. Uh, maybe do a prep video. This may be the prep video. And then the next video will be the assemblage. Okay. So what I am doing, I'm going to take two brands and mix them up together. Okay. So the first one is this image right here. I'm going to take these girls. This is a Gina and me from um, Unity Stamp Company. I like their stamps a lot. And it's really big. So it looks small on the, the package. But most of their stamps are huge. Right? Look at this. <laughs> so it says, in need of some serious girl time. That's so cute. It says, selfie. Can't capture life without you. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, friend. Wishing Bestie a beautiful birthday. That's cute. My best friend's birthday is coming up. So I may do this for her. Um, anyway, so I want to use this card, this stamp. And then I want to use, um, is this the one? Yes. I like you, but if zombies chase us, I'm tripping you. I want to use that with this one because it's two people right you know my best friend and I I would definitely trip her no she probably end up tripping me um I'm not gonna tell you any stories from our our life together um we used to be co-workers um yeah I, I won't I won't even go into it but she's crazy it's definitely crazy I mean to be my friend you have to be a little bit out there right so as you can see, this will not fit on a A2 card, right? So we'll have to adjust as needed. I'll have to get some cool paper maybe. So I'm using 110 cardstock. I watched the craft show, the craft event on HSN last um, Tuesday, election day. And um, Sarah Davies is the owner or founder of Crafters Companion. If you don't know her um she has the they have the gemini uh junior the big the dad the daddy i think i think is what they call it the daddy the junior and the go um so she has that out she has all those dyes that everyone goes crazy over at tuesday morning for really inexpensive versus how much they cost online sheena um douglas is one of her in-house creators so um, you know, you can watch on HSN or you can go to crafterscompanion.com or UK. And if you watch Poor Spice, then you know she does a lot of Crafters Companion type um, situations. So this is a new stamp. I haven't used it yet. And I want to say that this is an older stamp set. Um, I believe it is. But you can go and look look it up. And here's the company right here. Uni Step Company. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. Why am I making this card? Um, because I want to. I just, I love that zombie thing. I had to get that. I got that from um, Blitzy. If you notice, I haven't did any hauls lately. Um, for a few reasons. I'm waiting till Black Friday to spend my money. I'm also, I don't want to say I'm going on a spending freeze because if I see something that I feel like I want, I'm going to get it. But I want to use the stuff that I have. I don't want to be, which I'm already there. I have things that I'm getting rid of. I'm selling, um, on various Facebook groups. I don't think I'll do a D stash video. Um, but I may, if I get, um, to that point that I can't get the stuff moved off of the other areas. Um, that to say, I've never used this before. It's new is that, and then, you know, you don't get your money. Well, some people don't get the money that they spent on the thing. Some people get way more than what they spent on the thing. I'm just looking here to make sure, like you see this heart, it probably won't come out that I want to make sure that that was okay. So this is probably me, right? And this is my best friend. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. Well, she would wear shoes like that. And these are sandals. So that's definitely us because I like to wear flip-flops throughout the summertime. I um, never knew about the flip-flop thing 
that Old Navy had until uh, maybe eight years ago. You know, they sell them all for a dollar. I went crazy and bought like a million pair. Um, and I was like, Brandy, you know, after I thought about it, I was like, Brandy, you don't even really like flip flops. What the hey is wrong with you? Right? <laughs> so I gave them to someone else that had a big foot like mine. And I kept some. I kept, I think I probably got like 20 pair because it was a dollar piece, right? I kept the, the ones that I thought was really cute. And then like two years later, I went on a cruise to Bahamas. So every outfit I had, I was able to throw a nice pair of flip flops in with it. And when you go to a hot place like that, you know, you wear shorts or sundresses. And I wore a lot of sundresses. I even wore a pair when I went to Vegas. But I think if you're going to walk in, in Vegas, even though the streets are super clean, like Vegas is very clean, the main strip at least. It's very clean. I recommend wearing some good walking shoes because if you want to walk the strip, you're going to be walking the strip. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this around because, you know, I like to get a lot of images um, on here. So I'm going to cut this down, actually. Okay, so I got them all stamped out. Here they are. Um, I think this was the first one I did, and I definitely like that it looks deeper for some reason. I don't know. Anyway, and then I pulled out some coloring things. I'm going to make this hopefully quick. So this will probably just be a prep video for it versus <laughs> versus um doing the whole thing. So I'm going to choose some colors really quickly. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I did choose some colors. Hopefully these uh, colors will do me some uh, justice. I am going to color her pants black. And so you all know that sometimes I like to... Um, I guess to make the color pop out a little bit more, I like to trace, trace the outlines. And maybe that's the inner child in me that's like, don't go outside the box. So if I trace it right, <laughs> the only thing I don't like is that the, I don't, well, she does wear pants that kind of bell, but they're like bell bottoms a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, you know, it's so crazy. I, I was like, okay, I'm gonna stamp out three images. I'm gonna make three cards. I'm going to send her that. I'm going to put on the front. I'm going to make it all cutesy, lovey, sweet, classic brandy. And then in the inside, I'm going to bam, hit her with the I trip you. <laughs> Zombies was chasing us. It's going to be so funny. She's going to probably call me and curse me out. Um, and she likes girly colors, purple, pink. Um, so I don't have a blue that's going to be this shade of blue. So, yeah, I'm just going to try my best to trace darker and then color light. So, what are you excited about as the year comes to an end? Like, did you get all of your things that you wanted to get taken care of accomplished? I can tell you right now, I did not. I did not. I definitely did not um, get half the stuff that I wanted to get taken care of, taken care of, which is sad. Um, very sad. But, you know, <laughs> as one of my very, very good friends says, it's never too late to start your day over. So, I could always just try harder. I did a swatch already and it's still, I'm still struggling. 
because I don't think I would ever roll my pants up like that either. I do have capri pants though. But we're going to say this is a fashion um, design that comes with the pants already in there, if you can see. Okay. Focus. You're doing so well. Now, all of a sudden, you not want to focus. Um, use the scraping. I know some of you that watch, you don't like the scraping, so I do apologize. Um, I got quiet, huh? Anyway, I have a, a headache starting to come on, so we'll see how far we get with this before we, um, have to stop. So, I just did something yesterday. My aunt, my aunt came to visit to watch um the little roommate while I go went to the scrapbook convention and she got home on Sunday and then she called me yesterday morning really really early around six o'clock that's early for normal people right but I was already up three hours I already had three hours into the to the day maybe two and a half because I got up around three thirty but then she called me like six thirty Yep, she did. So, yep, three hours. And we had a verbal altercation. She threw the first punch, the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. You know, she was just steady, just throwing jabs, throwing jabs, throwing jabs. And I just got tired of it. I really did. I was just like, okay. You know, I didn't tell her enough's enough. I said, I'll talk to you later. And so she was like, okay, I, you know, bye or whatever. You know, she had, she still had like a nasty attitude with it. And then later on that day, she called me maybe around, because I went to, I did a tour of a building. Um, I was leaving the house like eight, eight o'clock. Yep. And she called me back and she was like, it's still not working. I was like what do you mean it's not working because you know we hadn't talked we hadn't spoken i'm going to use this american craft uh glitter pin um on this shirt and she was like my bluetooth and i was like okay i said you know who you're talking to she was like i'm talking to my niece and i was like okay you called me like we've been on the phone and you just got the phone to check something out I don't know what you're talking about. She was like, my Bluetooth in the car isn't work. Like then, you know, she tried to, you know, like when you don't know what somebody's talking about, cause they just call you out the blue, their thoughts are already in progress and yours aren't. They try to get an attitude with you. Like it's your fault that their communication skills are not the greatest. Right. And I was like, you know, you just call me out the blue. Like I always try to fan the glitter just in case I, um, I don't want to smudge it. And then I'm going to put a gray shirt on. Because I wear I will wear blue and gray. Definitely. I like gray and blue. So. This kind of looks brown though. We're going to go with it anyway. So. Um, you know. I was just like. First of all. I was still upset. Like I was uh, insulted. Super insulted. Right. That she called me back. After she had been very mean earlier, right? Uh, yes, you know, it's okay. I am older, but I still have feelings. You know, a lot of people think, older people especially, like elderly people. I guess back in the day it was okay to be buttholes, um, jerky people, and people wouldn't say anything to you. But now, if you come across the wrong way to some people... They'll punch your lights out, you know. I would never hit my aunt because she was being a butthead to me. But I will definitely not talk to you until you come to your senses. So anyway, um, you know, I, I think that's one of the things as Americans we need to work on. You know, that stuff does start at home. So she called me back later on in the day and she called me and she apologized 
because you know she she said some pretty hurtful stuff and she lucky she lucky I love her right she lucky because a lot of people especially in this day and age they don't care if you're aunt mama daddy they'll cuss you out treat you like crap but I was just like you know she crazy <laughs> that's what I always say when she do something that's questionable like she's just crazy and you know I know I know crazy so I've been knowing her for a long long time and so she called me back and apologized and told me her great news about her everything and I was like that's great congratulations still 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 pissed you know I'm still upset with her mad um, because even though you apologize for saying something rude or inconsiderate, it doesn't erase the statement. You can't take that negative statement out there. Yeah, I know forgiveness, um, is great. It's good to forgive people for wronging you and treating you like crap and being mean to you. But that stuff takes a while. Like it just doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, I'm an emotional person. I have feelings. Like some of the stuff that she says to me, I would never, ever say to her. And I know that if my mom was alive, she wouldn't say it to me, <laughs> you know? So if you know that going in, why would you even say it now? So let me tell you about my best friend. I wear jeans. She doesn't, right? She wears casual, more casual clothes than I do. She does wear jeans, but just so you know, she, she's, um... She more classier than Brandy <laughs> in some, you know, in some regard. So just so y'all know that I don't know what's going on with my marker. Did I, I must've rubbed it the wrong way. Um, anyway. Yeah. So I just feel like we as people need to do, we need to just do better. I don't know how many times I can say that. And practicing what I preach, you know, because sometimes, and I have to be very, very careful. Like when I'm driving, if you've ever been to Texas, the larger cities in Texas, you know, um, people drive like they're the only people on the road. They won't let you over. They cut you off. And I'm like, move it, lady, because I have really, I wouldn't say I have really bad road rage, but it exists sometimes. And I, um, that's why I like to leave the house first thing in the morning. A lot of people are not out. Um, like if I was to go out the house around noon, I'm asking for trouble because that's when everyone's meeting their husbands and girlfriends and boyfriends, their wives, their kids. They're taking lunches to their family members. You know, they're doing family stuff during lunchtime. Um, and I have to just be aware of that. So needless to say, I like to get all my running around first thing in the morning. Before noon, I like to almost be finished by noon. Unless it's going to be an all-day marathon. Like if it's an all-day marathon out and about, I'll start out early in the morning. As soon as the store opens, like I'll leave. If a store opens at 10 o'clock, I'll leave at 9.30 to get there as the doors are opening. Um, just because it just makes more sense, right? For me, at least. And I have a little one. So, um, travel time is the same, but prep time. I have to make sure that he's up, dressed, changed clothes, you know, fed. Like, when you're uh, single or on the go, you don't have to worry about all of that. You kind of just go, go as the wind blows you, right? So now I'm going to take this, um pink and I'm going to put her trim trim on and even though it's very detailed in my opinion I'm just going to make little circles if you hear that that's Nicholas going potty Nicholas has been I've told you all I tell you this every time but Nicholas has been a bad kitty cat lately um, if you have cats then you know that they're very all animals but they're very heavy possessive um they think they own all of your stuff 
And if you don't have an animal that does that, that is great. But Nicholas definitely thinks that he is the ruler of everything. So now I'm going to try to get this purple over here. And I'm going to... This is so funny because I really don't wear watches that much anymore. I used to wear watches. But I found that if you wear watches, people expect for you to be on time for stuff, right? Because they're like, don't you have a watch on? Um, although I'm rarely late to any type of um, function because I like to get good seats. <laughs> I don't want bad seats. I want to get good seats. So I'm going to just... Um, my best friend wears weird shoes, too. You know, when I stamped her out and I got ready to pull out the colors, I could hear my mom saying, color them white. Um, when we went to visit my mom one year, she, my best friend needed some white sandals. This is the only story I'll probably ever tell you guys because, you know, I haven't got permission to tell, this, tell these stories from her. Uh, she needed some white sandals for usher, ushering. Not sandals, but white shoes. And so we went to like five stores. And my mom was like, you know, she called her her name. She said, get back, Nicholas. What's up with you and these white shoes? And she was like, I need them for um church. And my mom was like, baby, you know, this is the, no one wears white shoes after, what is it, Labor Day? I was like, mom, the people in the church wear sh white shoes year round they're ushers and she was like okay and so when my best friend got married um the colors of her wedding my mom was like that's so old-fashioned like she was just cracking jokes on her and she was like y'all ain't gotta wear no white shoes do y'all was like mom really really <laughs> talk about going into beast and savage mode my mom was definitely i'm going to uh trace this You know, it's so strange, like, whenever I talk about my mom, it, it makes me, well, I have no feeling of sadness, um, but I do miss her. Like, when I talk about her, I only, you know, I feel joy. I don't feel like, oh, she's not here. Like, when I think about all the good stuff, um, I can't say too much about the bad stuff. When I think about the good stuff, I'm just like, oh, I miss her. And then I'll think about something crazy that has happened. And I'm just like, yeah, that was cool. <laughs> I definitely wish she was here still, though. I should have did that first. Um, traced it. That look. Okay. You know what's so funny? We have a picture kind of like this together. But that's when my hair was um, much longer and not in an updo. Um, and I have on a gray sweater and some blue jeans. When I was younger, that was my go-to outfit. Gray, well, not gray, but a shirt and some jeans. Now my outfits are kind of like, what's the most comfortable thing I can um, find and wear and I'm okay with? I missed a little spot. These um, ladies, all of the doll stamps, sometimes they can be very uh, tedious to color. Yep, so we're just going to do a color, a stamp and color with me versus a um, card. It's gonna be so funny. I'm gonna I wanna make it and mail it today. Um, but I don't know. I don't know if we're only gonna we're gonna go to the grocery store and grab some groceries and that'll be it. I don't feel like going on to a lot of places. So I have to watch the news to see how the road conditions are and all that stuff. Because I normally don't watch the news. I know. I know. Go ahead and tell me all about it. I don't watch the news though. I don't feel like what's going on is great. So I try not to watch the news because it's just bad stuff. Bad 
sad stuff. And, you know, the news, I don't think, well, not here. I've never heard. They don't have, like, a feel-good segment. I know in some areas they do have, like, feel-good segments. Like, you know, they'll highlight people for doing decent things and being decent human beings. But it's not every everything. I don't like her feet. Like, this is definitely me. I hate my feet. So, this is definitely me. And I'm going to color them a crazy, funky color. Because she only has one toenail visible. Really? What's going on with that? And it's green. My toenails are um, aqua right now. Teal. Teal, not aqua. Teal. So, that's really cool. This is definitely a great representation of us. <laughs> Um, I need to figure out how I tried it and it didn't work out great, but I need to figure out how I can enlarge some of my images. You know, I used to have really good software for, I can't work. Um, what is that program? I don't know. I do Photoshop, but I used to have another program um, a word program, of course, before they start giving you all the extra goodies that they used to give you. I messed these sandals up. I have a pair of shoes just like this in my closet right now. So now I'm going to do our hair. She has reddish brown hair. And I just have brown black hair. So let's see. Um, okay, so I'm going to... I decided to do the hair last. I'm going to go ahead and color us up really quickly this would be such a nice card if the inside didn't say i'm gonna trip you for the zombies i mean i think that would be cool <laughs> yeah, those the right colors. so this is i had to switch over because the colors i was using statler statler didn't have any browns like any good browns to represent our Skin, in my opinion, I did get some markers. Um, you know, I have everyone always asked me, What do you like when people ask you? I'm not sure if people ask you, but they probably do if you are into crafting. They ask you, What's your favorite, whatever? And you know, um, I always say, You know, this, this, and this, and this, and they're like, Really? And then so I had went somewhere with this lady I know that lives here in the area. And um, I wanted to cut some color pencils. I was like, I don't really need them. But I just want them. I want to try them out. I want to see how they are. But I feel like since I'm not really into coloring, um, like I don't know how to color that great. Like I just color what I feel. Like I can't, I don't do shadows and all of that stuff. That um, it's kind of, I am not that brown, am I? I think I'm brown, I'm that brown, right? <laughs> um, that is fine. So, but I'm contemplating taking color classes online. She is definitely not that, well, maybe I can color lighter up here. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> I think the skin tones are my issues a lot of times, unless uh, I'm coloring like a mythical creature or something. Because, you know, you can take creative license. Um, it's the word I was looking for in the last video. Yes, creative license and do whatever the heck, you know, you want to with them like if i color a witch you know i'm gonna make her green i guess or purple or blue or whatever and if you watch cartoons vampires vampirina that is on uh, disney is blue she has a little tint of blue to her she's really blue you can tell she's blue and i'm like you guys can't tell us a vampire like she's a monster that's what she calls herself all of the uh, people that are not human on the cartoon are monsters. And I'm just like, uh, okay. I don't really see it, but like Bigfoot, um, 
the trolls, ghosts, gargoyles, mummies, all monsters. I went to finally do my, I wash my bed covers, like the big bed covers at the laundromat. And they, they have like industrial machines. I just find that that's easier to uh, do versus in my my washer and dryer. Like if the clothes don't dry all the way, um, not the clothes, the, you know, the whatever I'm washing, if it doesn't dry all the way, I'll bring it home and dry it. Because I feel like the dryer is big enough to take take on that yep these colors are probably a shade too dark so if there's another if they have a 944 that would probably work but I'm gonna I'll fix it and my phone isn't blue green I have a blue phone my phone is blue but I was like hey we got all three of the colors in blue gray and silver yay <laughs> um, I've enjoyed this stamp and color chat with you all. I hope that you have as well. I um I have a headache. It's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So hopefully the day isn't too hectic for me. Um, you know, sometimes cold weather I know can bring on that as well nicholas is being very bad right now so if you all need a companion for the holidays let me know and i will ship his little behind right to you with food and all literally you have to get your own so it's heavy right all right let me fix us up just a little bit all right so this is the completed image i think it came out great so this is us and what i did was i put some undertones of purplish in her hair and then colored black same thing with mine but i used a different color like orange and then this is us taking a selfie right um so i'm going to stop right here do another video for you all um coloring takes a long time and we'll go from there. So until next time, happy crafting.